when I thumbed through old radio magazines, in this case uh, a French one, Electronique Pratique, Pratique, I found this circuit and it is a multivibrator made with FETs, field effect transistors. Uh, I did one experiment earlier to make it. Uh, I found a lot of problems, but now I uh, succeeded in a good way. And when we go to more information about that circuit, uh, they tell that when the gate resistor gate to minus is 10 mega ohm and the capacitors <coughs> are 10 microfarad uh, there will be a, a time delay uh, in the order of 10 minutes do i believe that i think i believe it here is the circuit at the moment and let's go to the breadboard to see that I could get to a very high frequency. And important to tell with small capacitors. Because of the properties of the field effect transistor, say it acts in a kind of way, of course, not completely, but anyway, it acts in a kind of way as a tube. It has a very, very high impedance on its gate. Um, and it means that we can reach low frequencies uh, with small capacitors. And I tested it out and these are the results. With 0 0.22 microfarad, switch off the scope with 0 0.22 microfarad we are on 2.2 hertz i could not believe it when i uh, read it it on the scope and 3 and 3 we are on 170 hertz well when you compare that to a bipolar transistor this is uh, in a kind of way unbelievable but anyway um sorry for the movements I want to take something. Um, so with 3 and 3 or 3300 picofarad we are on 170, sorry, 117 hertz, 1000 picofarad 3.6 kilohertz, 27 picofarad 14 kilohertz, 13 picofarad 28 kilohertz. And that's what I want to show now. Of course, I'm going to do more experiments. Uh, especially, I want to reach to that ID that with a 10 microfarad capacitor here, we have a time delay of 10 minutes. I mounted here in the drain lead a red LED. It's here. And of course, um, this is a demo circuit. I cannot stress enough that this is a demo circuit. Uh, it means that when you make it more stable, uh, go to the better physical ways of making this. For instance, in the Manhattan style, on a copper cloud board, etc., etc., or even on a piece of copper, etc., etc., so that the components cannot move, etc. Well. Um, let's look on the scope where this simple circuit, by the way, can bring us. Uh, I needed here the, the decoupling unit. Be uh, it helped a lot to, to get a pure sine wave without, say, small peaks. That has also to do with the whole idea of the stability. Uh, without this decoupling unit, there were peaks in the waveform, but anyway, now we don't see these peaks. And I think it's a useful circuit. Now I touched something. Uh, important to tell, of course, that you see here between the two waves, uh, a smaller wave that has to do with 
um, the tolerance of the two capacitors. In this case, it works on 28 kilohertz. So uh, everything here, parasitic capacitance, stray capacitance, etc., can give this effect that uh, there is a smaller time here and a somewhat longer time here. You can compensate that by doing uh, experiments uh, with a trimmer or so to say uh, make the um, capacitance of the capacitor slightly higher, slightly lower and that will say uh, show itself when you make it. Another idea is, I did that more or less in the past, I don't know whether that works, is to bridge one of the capacitors with a uh, high value resistor in the order of one mega ohm. And it means that the cap and that resistor here, a well, potentiometer, that's what I mean, a pot meter of one mega ohm, uh, that, that means that you can this, this gets a time dependent circuit and you can influence the frequency and thus the waveform. So, not much more to tell. Uh, thanks to Electronique Pratique from 1979. That's quite a long time ago, anyway. Had not expected that this worked so well. Pen over the circuit somewhat. Uh, decoupling unit is here. The LED is of course here, properly visible. Here there are two 27 picofarad capacitors in series. So together it is approximately 13 picofarad and that means that we are now on 28 kilo cycles. Perhaps you can even go higher, I don't know that. Uh, you have to test that yourself with smaller capacitors, smaller than 13 picofarad. But of course, uh, there is say an end to that experiment because um, when the capacitance gets too low, I'm more or less sure that the oscillator stops. Here is the output cap, 0.22 microfarad. It is connected here. To the drain, I didn't draw it in the schematic, sorry for that. So here that output cap and there you can take out your wave. Uh, thanks for watching.